beautiful, beautiful sacred friends. Mm. You are the way. This is the way, is knowing you're it. You can't step out of God. You can't step out of divinity. You can't step out of your luminosity. That's only a thought that we keep believing in. You see, but if we stand still long enough, and not just physically, but mentally and emotionally as well, those clouds we call thoughts and emotions will part. And you as the son of God, presence, will shine through all of that distortion. You see? But we have to quit believing in this little, 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 little me. It's just a mode of consciousness. It's just a state of consciousness. What you're looking for is not a step away. Unless you want it to be a step away, then you'll have the experience it's a step away. But you must claim your freedom now. You must affirm, confirm who you are now. You are presence. You are free to be or not to be, but that's up to you. But the door is open. There's another way and it doesn't have to be hard, you see. This is your choice. This is your life, man. This is your experience. You're, <laughs> you're golden and you're beautiful. Your mind will have a different opinion for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Because the mind's conditioned, you see. The mind will tell you all kinds of things to keep you out of the present moment. To pull you out of your peace and your freedom. This is why you must safeguard your, your presence, your peace, your kingdom, queendom. You must safeguard it. No one else is going to safeguard it. No, no, there's no government that will, that will safeguard your presence. You do. You are authority. You are authority to your inner realms. And a lot of beings don't want that authority. Someone else do it for me, yeah? Not here, no. You are your authority. Where's your allegiance? Where is your allegiance? You're not broken and you don't need to be healed. Okay? And when we slow down and we embrace how perfect we already are, we embrace the magic we are, that magic starts to bubble up and comes out of the surface. It, it comes up to the surface and out of us because it's here. It's just dormant and we got to stir it up. We got to stir it up, babe. We got to stir it up and we stir it up by conviction, presence, knowing yourself and knowing yourself as presence naturally has this automatic confidence and authority to it. Mm. We are all sons of God. All of us are sons of God. We are children of God. And our creator is not something that comes and goes. That's the mind. What kind of God would it be to just come and go all the time? I'm here, now I'm not. I'm here, now I'm not. No, who we are is pure awareness. God is synonymous with presence, our pure awareness. And it's always here. It's unchanging. It's untouchable. It cannot be stained. The stain is an illusion. It's imagined. But we have a belief that God's an object, source is an object. It's formless awareness, it's formless presence. And it's within you now, it's within you. It's peering through your beautiful eyes. Mm. But when we're too identified with mind, we don't recognize it. It's an intuitive recognition, intuitive. Underline that intuitive part, okay? And so if we're lost in our minds, there's no intuition. No intuition. Intuition is of the cosmic Christ at heart. It's of the heart space. It's a feeling. It's a knowing that can't be put into logical, spocky words, you know? It's, it's intuitive. It's a flow. It's elegant. It's gracious. And it's subtle and it's soft. You see, we overlook God and presence in the intuitive side because it's subtle it's not forceful like the mind the ego in the mind is very loud and dominant and masculine and wants to prove a point god has nothing to prove you see oh god has nothing to prove and nothing nothing only mind has something to prove you see but you're not your mind you're not your mind Mm. 
So be a rebel. Go against this world. Not in a pushback, but in the, in the sense of, I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going to let everyone else do their thing. I'm going to let everyone else keep doing their parte parte of ups and downs, ebbs and flows, suffering, all of this. Let them play. Let them play. You come home. And then you can watch that play from your unity, from your wholeness, from your peace, from your bliss and your joy. And it's not a joy you create. It's not a peace you create. Oh, no, sir. Oh, no, sir. We don't create this. It was here before the idea of creation even came in. You see? We're not creating the true self. We're recognizing it. We're discovering it. And it's here now for you. Will you take this offer? Or will you leave it? Either way, it's all beautiful. It's okay. All is well. All is God. Disguised as the many. <sighs> all right, friends. I hope you can hear me. And I hope you heard this message. I don't have a microphone. I'm about to do yoga. But this wanted to come through. Mm. I love you all. I bless you all. Thank you for choosing presence. Thank you for choosing truth. Thank you for choosing love. Thank you for choosing you. I love you all. Namaste.